everyone. I hope you're doing well. And uh, in the previous video, we learned about uh, Apache Kafka, right? And we talked a bit about uh, the components. We learned about uh, the basics of uh, consumers in Kafka and uh, saw some real world examples. And we also, you know, saw a nice demo with Ivan. In this video, we're going to further up that. We're going to talk about, uh, you know, Apache Kafka with uh, Spring Boot applications and uh, you know, the integration of uh, Kafka consumers, to be more specific, into the Spring Boot application. So if you're new to these concepts, don't worry, I've made a video on Spring Boot as well. And now I've made a video on Kafka as well, which was the previous one. And now in this third video, we're going to combine these two. So we're going to learn about Kafka and Spring Boot together, because oftentimes in real world, that's how you find these projects being used in, in a, you know, same environment, like together. Right. If you talk about some open source projects you want to contribute to or in some real world applications you want to build or in enterprises or whatever. Right. So all the links can be found in the description below. Again, we'll be using uh, Ivan. They have some pretty amazing resources to solve this and very other specific uh, tasks as well. And if you use the link in the description below, you'll get some free credits and uh, you don't need any credit card to sign up. So you can just, you know, Check it out and uh, get started with it and, uh, you know, see what it's like uh, running, uh, you know, these applications at scale because that's how we start. We start small and then we build up. That's what we're doing with these tutorial series as well. And lastly, if you have any comments, questions, let me know in the comment section below. Cool. Um, just a brief reminder. Let's uh, talk a bit more about uh, Kafka consumers. If you have seen the previous video, we did this already. But... Uh, Another and I love giving analogies, you know, because it's a complicated topic. So it's nice to make it more simple to understand, you know, quote unquote simple because these things can get pretty complex. But I think that's where, you know, such uh, tools as well, like Ivan come in that make it pretty simple for you to get uh, started with these. As we'll see in this video, obviously, we'll have a demo. So imagine like, let's say uh, you're in a coffee shop. And uh, when we talk about the baristas of the coffee shop, you can relate to them as the producers in Kafka. So they are continuously making drinks, drinks you can relate to as uh, messages in Kafka, and they are placing them on the counter. And the counter you can relate to what? Pause this video, think about it, the Kafka topic, okay? So now you along with other customers, these customers are what you all know, consumers, are waiting to pick up your specific order, okay? So in the Kafka whole ecosystem, a consumer works similarly. So the consumer is the one who subscribes to one or more topics or the counters and processes the data or the coffee that is sent by the producers or the baristas. So consumers are like, you know, the patrons who are there to receive what's been made specifically for them. If we talk about Kafka consumers, what are some of the key features of Kafka consumers? So the First one, very obvious one is subscribing to topics. So just as you, you know, might order a coffee, Kafka consumers subscribe to specific topics that they are interested in. Second one is scalability. So if the coffee shop is like very crowded, more staff can be added. Similarly, Kafka supports multiple consumers within a consumer group to handle large data streams effectively. Third one being fault tolerance. That's also pretty important feature. So if a customer doesn't get their order due to, let's say, a mix-up, it can be remade, right? And Kafka consumers track which message has been processed to ensure that the data is not lost or overlooked. And uh, when we talk about Spring Boot Kafka consumer, this is, you can say, in a coffee uh, wordplay, uh, a perfect blend, okay? So if we add Spring Boot into our analogy, how do we add it into our analogy of the coffee? Uh, you can think of Spring Boot as a high-end coffee machine, okay? And that is designed to make the coffee making process more effective and straightforward. So when we integrate Kafka consumers with Spring Boot, we are essentially using this advanced machine to handle our orders. Now that is fine, cool, makes sense. But the real question is why? 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 Why are you doing this? Why are you making things so complicated, Kunal? Well, it's not complicated. There are a lot of benefits using uh, of using Spring Boot which, with Kafka consumers. First one being simplified configuration. So Spring Boot makes it very easy for you to set up and configure Kafka consumers, much like let's say a modern coffee machine, which has uh, preset options for different types of coffees. 
that you want and it's easy to develop and deploy as well. It's like having a coffee machine that is not only brewing coffee, but also let's say taking order and uh, serving it directly to the customers as well. Let's say an advanced, advanced coffee machine. <laughs> and um, it also enhances efficiency. So with Spring Boot uh, managing uh, Kafka consumers, it uh, becomes more streamlined, which allows the developers to focus on processing the data effectively, similarly to how a high-end coffee machine fee frees the, you know, all the baristas to focus on what? Focus on what? What can they focus on? Customer service. Cool. So that's basically about it, like why we are using, uh, you know, Spring Boot with uh, Kafka consumers. In the real world, you can imagine that uh, there's an app that tracks and updates, let's say, live score. Uh, of the sports that are happening, cricket, football, whatever. So the Kafka consumers are like the sport fans who are continuously, let's say, receiving updates about the favorite games. And integrating these consumers into a Spring Boot application is like, uh, you know, providing these fans with a dedicated app that not only updates them in real time, but also personalizes the information according to their preferences. So like, for example, what team you're working on and all sorts of things. Okay, so now let's do one thing. Let's look at a demo and... Uh, Let's create our own data stream and uh, do all sorts of things, uh, you know, with Kafka and uh, Spring Boot and um, Ivan, right? That's how we integrate all of these together in a nice demo. And uh, I'll leave the links in the description below as well for you to check it out. But yeah, let's get started. All right, so first of all, we need to create a Kafka service. You can do it via your web console, as you can see on the screen, your CLI, or you can use Terraform or even the Ivan uh, Kubernetes operator. If you want to do whatever your choice, I'm going to go to Apache Kafka, select uh, the regions and uh, whatever. I'm going to select my service and uh, I'm going to give it a name, Kafka demo, create service and start free trial. So as you can see, I did not require a credit card or anything. And uh, next it's going to say create a topic. So we're just going to call uh, we're just going to create a topic once my service is uh, has been built, and uh, it's all good. I can um, I can do these integrations later on. So when I go to my console in my Ivan, so I can see that uh, I have Kafka demo running over here. Here I can create a topic, and uh, currently you can see it's saying uh, rebuilding. So once that is built, I'll be able to add in um, you know. Um, topics to it, so I'll create a spring topic. Okay, so there's uh, my Kafka demo running, and uh, here we have the repository, which you can use to test out the Spring Boot Kafka consumer. Uh, first of all, you have to install the Ivan CLI, which is pretty easy to do, as you can see over here. And if you haven't already seen my Spring Boot tutorial, check it out, in that I've explained it in more, more details. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a topic uh, called Spring that I just did over here, as you can see, and then we're going to create a key, key store uh, and uh, true store. So here you can check out that I did ABN, you know, service, uh, user Kafka creds. I added my service name, Kafka demo, the username, and I gave it a destination and a password. And uh, it created the, uh, you know, the directory, and the certificates and everything. And after that, I just ran the command. Uh, also, one more thing, you have to make sure that in your uh, application.yaml file, you are replacing it with the... So in the application YAML file, let me just show you. Main resources application YAML file. Here you're replacing the bootstrap strap server with your Kafka service URI. And that you can obviously find in the overview service URI, right? And then I just uh, run the Maven command, and as you can see, build success, very simple stuff. Easy demo, okay? So you can go to Spring, you can go to Messages, you can produce new messages, you can fetch messages over here from, let's say, JSON, and uh, here you have it, two messages I sent before, you can check out your logs available over here, but uh, that's pretty much about it. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Okay, so that was basically about it. So in conclusion, Kafka consumers play a very vital role in the Kafka ecosystem, much like the customers in a coffee shop. 
And when you integrate Springboard, they offer a powerful and effective and user-friendly approach to handle real-time uh, data streams, whether it's like a live sports uh, app or a complex data processing system. This combination offers a robust solution for modern data-driven applications. In the end, I'd just like to say, you know, uh, remember that, uh, you know, like the mastering, um, um, let's say you, you have to do a lot of work, you know, because I did a barista course, like uh, just for fun, and you know, how coffee is made. So mastering the art of uh, coffee making and, uh, you know, working with Kafka and Springboard requires practice and exploration. So explore, play around with it. And, uh, you know, you have the free Ivan credits. If you don't, you can check out the link in the description below to get those and play around with it. And uh, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section below and uh, all the other links to resources, open source projects and uh, open source tools and everything I'll leave in the description below. Questions, comments, suggestions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.